Hello. Uh, you know who I am. And I'm going to be playing Project Zomboid, an awesome zombie survival bleh. Um, so yeah, I've been playing this game for a few days now, and I think it's a great game. So yeah, we're going to get started with... Okay, I'm going to delete a couple saves here, because there's some good saves that I've made, and some... Uh... Okay, where's my best one? My friend is talking to me. Give me a sec, let me just real quick. Okay, okay, let's get started on a game. Let's hit new. We're gonna start at West Point. I like West Point better. So, uh, I'm gonna play as a. a chick. Screw you two. Um. Doesn't matter on the uh, hair color or whatever we have here. Uh, I'm gonna choose. Uh, actually, I'm gonna choose. Um, Park Ranger because they're quite good. I'm gonna choose Brave. I always choose the same ones, Light Drinker, uh, Short Tempered, so these are basically like the traits you can have and you must have negative and positive traits. Um, basically they need to either add up to zero or in the negatives in order for you to play, otherwise, um, or no, zero or, or more. So I can start playing now, but if I put on a trait that's more than three, um, you can't start the game because you need to balance out your sort of stuff um, brooding see I'm gonna choose the ones that are not so important like being overweight or getting panicked is uh, just something that shouldn't really be happening okay so I'm gonna choose light eater I most people usually play with the same setups every game so I'm kind of the same actually give me a second I wanna choose difference uh, I'm not quite sure um, eagle-eyed, athletic, we're gonna go with athletic. Athletic is always good. And then we get the most amazing three sentences in the world. These are the end times. And they're very uplifting too. And I really like the music in this game, especially when it tenses up and like more zombies chase you. Anyway, there was no hope of survival. See? Gets better and better. And the last one is the best one. Oh, this always happens. This is how you died. That's horrible. Basically, you don't survive this zombie apocalypse because, let's be real here, you're not going to survive it. Sorry about the lag anyway. Um, This game runs a lot. Well, it doesn't run a lot better, but it runs at least at 30 frames per second when I play it Um, without recording. Well, it's actually running at 30, 30 frames per second with a bit of stuttering, so what's well, a bit of a problem. It's running at about 20, mm, 28-ish. Anyway, so yeah, basically you, you start off in a house, uh, depending on the location you chose, and you have to go and loot stuff, and uh, garbage bags and all kinds of other carrying items are great. So let's say if you have something where you can carry stuff, uh, then you just equip it to your secondary and also it becomes a second inventory. Very helpful, you will understand. Uh, whenever you're looting a house, you always want to close the curtains just because... Um, uh, so the zombies don't see you from outside. And most of the time, zombies don't start in the house here, and so... Oh yes. Oh, have I how, how many have I started in this location before? I think of a hundred times I've started in this place. So actually, I'm gonna keep. Uh, you should always fill up mugs and these things. Always fill up water, because once the water runs out, you're gonna need a lot of. Um, you're gonna need a lot of. Um, give me a second. You're gonna need a lot of. Uh, um, like sort of. Uh, emergency food and water and things of that nature. You have a furnace where you can cook stuff. This is the floor. This is uh, seeds packets, which is for farming. We have uh, butter knives, forks, and spoons. They're pretty shitty weapons, but you know what? They work. Um, so a can opener is really helpful. We have a plastic bag, but plastic is it? No, plastic bags are worse. Weight reduction is 30%, so basically when you put stuff into here, it's 30% of the weight uh, compared to your normal thing. I don't know how to explain it. 
uh, the garbage bag is better uh, capacity wise but not weight reduction dog food you're gonna need the can opener to open the dog food and we have chips and your character needs to eat drink worry about sickness I'm I'm not sure what the roasting pan does maybe you can cook stuff with the roasting pan huh uh, peanut butter is another source of food you have a fridge with usually you, sometimes you can find up to like ten different food items in there if you're lucky but who says you are there's a little storage place you you really want to loot you really want to get all all the help you can get okay I have not started in this place um, when choosing a house to start or choosing a house to be in you always want to choose something with like two floors in case the zombies get up to your floor you want to retreat to the second floor um, you also want to have a back door in your house just so if, if there's a big ass zombie horde coming towards your house you have a, a chance of escaping so this is zombie combat ready oh yeah frying pan is actually a pretty decent weapon um, the wiki for this game describes most of the weapons as blast resort and crappy tend to disagree actually I think a lot of the weapons okay that's weird look at that look at that there's a freaking thing in the way of the door are you serious oh my god um so anyway yeah the zombie guide the wiki for this game describes most of the weapons as pretty shitty here's another zomb the combat in this game is a bit annoying and it's, it's kinda clunky it could have been better but this game's an alpha so you're gonna have to deal with that kind of thing smash the window with your weapon crawl inside usually there's some good loot in here not no sometimes you can find hammers and nails maybe even ammo but a lot of the time oh look it seems like the uh, noise that I made crashing the window attracted the zombie see like when you do every action in the game you really have to be you have to consider every variable and here's a little bit, here's a faster zombie yeah look at that this thing is great at knocking down um, zombies can we open the door a lot of the time houses are locked and if you want to enter in through the window you're gonna break the you're gonna hit the alarm that's gonna attract way more attention than you wanted oh yeah they die yeah see this is an impressive ass weapon has pretty good durability too I've killed how many zombies uh, I've killed six zombies and we're still at over 80 percent health for the weapon which is pretty good and you wanna make sure you don't get attacked or bitten or anything like that because you're probably gonna die if you do get bitten it's like a 96 percent chance of getting infected and then after you're infected you'll die after like a day or two uh... when you get scratched there's like a 25 percent chance so you may die uh... but there's a much better chance of survival anyway we're gonna smash the window if that's possible normally there's an alarm could come on any second now one thing that's pretty scary is that sometimes there are zombies right around the corner and then you get your ass bitten and you die there's a TV blocking the door actually that's kinda helpful if there's zombies trying to get through there but it's not good if you're if it's a and you have to okay so your character is thirsty you can either if you have some kind of drink with you you can drink that or you can drink from the tap you wanna drink from the tap you wanna fill up your bowls and these things with uh... emergency water so you shove that in here so you don't act cause like if your character gets thirsty you'll automatically drink the filled uh, water container uh... dish towels and and um, others and the bath towels are good for drying yourself off if you have um, if you've been outside and it's been raining uh... you can get wet and sick I th and I'm not sure if the clothes depend on it. Like, let's say if you're wearing a sweater or a vest, does does it depend on how badly you get soaked? I don't think so. It would have been nice if uh, that happened. So yeah, usually when you when you want to you want to carry loot around in this bag, you want to have most of the items you'd use normally in uh, your normal inventory.
but uh, sorry about that. If you're running out of space in the this bag, then and you just start putting it in here, and you make sure you don't want to get over encumbered. Otherwise, uh, you're screwed in many ways. So you check everything. Um, I have used the butter knives and the forks and the spoons as weapons. They're not um, recommended. So yeah, most most places come with. Okay, we have a can opener in the other place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up this bowl. And uh, filling up bowls with water like could double or triple their weight. You have to watch out for that. Okay, so this fridge has a lot of good food. Yeah, you can highlight everything and, and drop it in, or you can hit the loot all button, depending on which uh, thing you want to carry, um, which storage. Um, books and like uh, reading things are good for entertainment if you're bored or something. Oh, I'm over encumbered, but that's okay. I'm like very close to my house. Uh, it's really bad if you're over encumbered and y you have the endurance warning. That's really bad because, and if you're running from a big uh, group of zombies, it's really not good. Um, you will end up dying. Ooh, look, a flashlight. Um, I believe you can get a flashlight to work if you equip it into your primary and you get a battery for that. Batteries obviously run out over time, and then you have to replace them. Playing cards have no reason. Maybe when NPCs are available, you can play cards with them. That will increase your entertainment. School bags now. School bags are really great. Um, any kind of thing you can equip on your back is a really good uh, source of carrying stuff. See, the weight reduction is 60%. So what I can do here is I can move... Uh, how much can this carry? Carrying capacity is 15, which is quite nice. So if you start moving stuff over to this bag, you'll see just how m you'll see how the encumbrance thing will go away. So let's move more stuff. Should go away because because I'm uh, remo moving stuff to the other compartment. Uh, any refrigerated food or perishable foods, you want to make sure that those don't go rotten. That's always a good idea. Alright, see, the time is advancing. I want to get back to the house because it's going to get dark eventually. So throw things in here, especially the heavy stuff. Um, the yeah, hold on. And yeah, you have to take it off from your container, and it takes a while, so if you have crucial things like bandages, you want to make sure that you have those right away, because unpacking it takes like m way more time than it is to use it, so just make sure that stuff doesn't happen. Sheets are good for tearing into bandages, and... Oh yeah, put in the bag. Stupid. Good for, um... Uh, hold on a second. They, um, oh yeah, see, now I'm throwing stuff in there so much that, uh, you have to be careful with your weight management in this game. But yeah, there we go. Now I'm not over encumbered anymore, and you don't want to take everything, um, so yeah, I'll just leave that there. You can always come back for more runs eventually. And you, you also want to clear out the local area of zombies if you can, so just do that when you can. Leave the hut. I, I should have never left that door open, because zombies could storm in here and take over my place. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to play. I just wanted to show you. And uh, you also have the thing here telling you how long you survived for. Zombies killed your experience points. When you gain enough experience, you can level up these certain skills. But uh, yeah, that's it for Project Zomboid. Uh, you should, if you're into zombie games or survival games or hardcore, just difficult games, um, you should check this out. And uh, see you guys later. One second, I'm trying to.